I knew this. If it fails, it's going to fail big. But if it hits, it could be really interesting. <laughs> it wasn't like any anything else. You want somebody out of the house? I want to get somebody out of your house. <laughs> I didn't understand it. But before I read it, there was a meeting with Tim and myself. He was trying to explain it to me. And then when I read it, I thought, oh, okay, this is wild. This is really interesting. But I still didn't know, understand what I was supposed to do in it. So he and I talked some more, and I came up with an idea, and he seemed to like it. And then we just, like two kids, just started shooting it. And to go back to this character 40 years after, do you still have this kind of approach, like yeah. as a kid? Yeah. Is it that, that playful? How do I know that you're going to keep your word? I swear on my dead mother's soul. Days. Yeah, yeah, it's that playful, except this time there's always improvisation, but less this time because A, it was a little bit better script and there was no need, less need. And Tim was very clear on how the scenes would be played. But once you, you do that, if you have an idea, he welcomes the idea. We basically approach it the same way, but he's, he's just so much more mature. First of all, he's older, so he's just mature, but he's more mature as a filmmaker. And I'm not sure I'm more mature as an actor, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, we're both more mature. And, and also he and I have a bit of a shorthand, you know. Bruce Wayne. And what do you do for a living? Where does he get those wonderful toys? I was not a comic book kid. Mm. I, I mean, I saw them and I probably read one or two, but I was not, that was not my thing. But when I read it, I knew it was an interesting approach because it was kind of based on, you know, the Frank Miller versions, which I never seen that. And I, I, but I, I didn't have much to compare it to, but I knew it wasn't what I used to see as a kid. And so it was clear to me what it was going to be, but I didn't think anyone would agree with me. But Tim saw it exactly like I saw it, playing the character. So I knew this. If it fails, it's going to fail big because it was a what they call, you know, a big swing. You're taking a big swing at it. But if it hits, it could be really interesting. <laughs> you can give us, are you going to offer to set him up? Yeah. I thought I'm doing something stupid. Yeah, this is Ray Nicolette. Hey, hi. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. I heard a lot about you. Likewise. I love doing it. To work with Quentin is, is wonderful. And then when the, the idea of it, when they came back and asked me, I thought, oh, this would be interesting. I was really interested, but I said, but there has to be enough of him from the first one that we see in the second one. I needed to keep the same haircut. I said, I want at least a couple pieces of his wardrobe. So the audience goes, oh, yeah, that's Ray. I know that's Ray. Almost like... It's not me that he's out there in the world and he just pops up again. You see him in a movie, totally different studio, totally different story, totally different book. And he's out there. It's, it's almost like you, you'd see him on the street, like he actually exists out there in the world. I just loved the idea of that. How did we end up here? This place is horrible. Smells like balls. An unbelievable challenge. But, that, but I like that idea. I, you know, it's frightening. Mm. which I like because it keeps you interested, keeps you stimulated. I wanted to see if I could do it, and I also wanted to see if the film itself could do it, if Alejandro could do it, if it would work. So every day you show up thinking, I hope this works, you know, but not, not just the day, but when I see it all put together, will this work, mm. you know? We've got two stories here, a story about degenerate clergy and a story about a bunch of lawyers turning child abuse into a cottage industry. Which story do you want us to write? Because we're writing one of them. I was raised Catholic. It's very aware of all, all this, not, not for me, fortunately, and, and not even in my school, but, but I, you know, I read newspapers constantly and I watch news constantly and, you know, I've, I thought it was very, very important, very important. And it was well written. And Tom McCarthy was a good, a good director. But I thought it was an important movie, to, an important story to tell. 